doing some thinking and uh, I have this string and I was gonna put a loop on my uh, knife here I had an idea for something I thought that might work and uh, most people use paracord I got this cord it's uh, a cord that I use uh, for falconry lures and if you see the little gray strips in it there those are reflective strips and if you shine your flashlight at night you will see this because it'll it'll be bright and reflective it's a little bit dark in here but still a little bit light but you see the reflective material in that uh in that cord that i'm using and it'll help you know at night to to find your knife if you lose it or need to find it in the middle of the night so i think that's pretty slick what i'm gonna do is gonna start with a knot just like this pull that tight and on my falconry lures most of the times i put some heat shrink on there but it's not really necessary and if I need to, I want to be able to get that knot out, but you're not going to pull that out. So what I'm going to do is keep them from up and through, and I'm going to just do a simple little knot like this, just a little guy like that. So the idea now is that this will slide and what I'm going to do is bring this back around. I'm going to pull this out a little bit like that and then I need just enough to get my hand in and so maybe right here, right about right in here. We're just going to cut that seal that. What I'm going to do is bring it up to here. First I'm going to tie another little knot in it like this. Then I'm going to come back up on this uh, on this one that has the other knot on it. I'm just going to tie this around like this. slides. The idea is if you have to go into the water or something, you know, hopefully you never have to do that. I'll tighten this up just a wee bit. But put your hand in and then I can pull these tight. So I have access to my knife, but if I were to drop it, like if I was in the water or doing something or there's a chance I could drop it, it's secured on my wrist. And I can just recover it. There's enough string there that it's not ripping. I mean, the knife's clear out to here. But just like that, I think that would work pretty slick. And then let's see how long it is. Just pull it like that, pull our peel out. And what we do, we just these two down. And we can make that as big or as small as we want to dangle off the back of our sheath. And uh, yeah, I think that should work pretty good. And you know, you can run it out to that size there, all the way out. Or Figure this out here. Slide it down. It's just like those cheapy bracelets you had when you were a kid. Oops. I'm just gonna just have to play with it, find out what I like, but really like the idea of being able to attach that to my hand where it's not gonna, even if I drop my knife, like if I was uh, fishing or hunting next to a river or whatever, uh, you know, gutting the fish or doing whatnot, I can secure it to my wrist and it's not gonna drop.
Something else I discovered about this and when I inserted in, I was wrapping my sheath trying to use up about four feet of pair of, or this cord. Uh, this, when I get my fire steel on there, I can always loosen this, bring it down around my fire steel, and then tighten it back up. And just that make sure your knots are kind of tight. Tighten it back up. And and when, with the fire steel sticking out the bottom, it adds just an extra little layer of security for your knife for uh, keeping it in place. Uh, this knife isn't coming out of the sheath. It's it's uh, it's pretty much set. But you know, for just a little bit of extra security, you know, your bushcraft knife. You know, I'm not really drawing mine to fight bears or people or anything like that. So, if just an extra little step. Uh, having to pull it and go around the fire steel really isn't going to cost me a whole lot as far as uh, you know availability and so I thought I'd pass that on I thought you know that's not too bad and again you know you just put your hand in there when you're doing work in the water tighten it up or you know somewhere where you don't want to drop your knife and you're good to go but yeah this sheath is still really really tight I don't I just put just treated it with oil yesterday too and or treated it with that Montana blend so I think that's just catching a little bit in there too and just making it a little bit more difficult to pull out so anyway hopefully it'll break in before too long especially when we start using it it should anyway thanks for watching Hawks and Bushcraft we'll talk to you later have a good day the cord that I'm using is Reflective 332nd Tactical Cord, made in USA. It's not a lifeline, it says, but there it is. Rot and mildew resistant, 275 pounds. Uh, obviously, I used orange, but this still had to wrap on it. I wanted to show you. Made in USA, rot and mildew resistant reflective cord is at Rope Manufacturing. So that's what I used.